Good day to you. Today we are taking a look at the new Humble Bundle. I know I am a bit late to this, but the value is incredible and you actually don't want to miss this out as a developer. It literally saves you like 98% or something. It's not that expensive and it's really cool. Um, so first let's go over what assets are in this bundle. So there are four tiers. With each tier you get all the items from the tiers below and that's basically it. You get to pay whatever you want. So first of all, there is the first bundle, which is one euro. I think that's also one dollar. That's a minimal amount. And here we already got some pretty cool tools. So here's the low poly tool bundle. And this actually includes three assets. So we got Polaris, Poseidon, Jupiter, and Texture Graph. The first one is a low poly terrain tool to sculpt and texture, which is pretty cool because the terrain tool in Unity isn't always the best, especially for performance. Uh, the second is Poseidon, which is for uh, water, to make water shaders, also quite cool. It doesn't look like anything that fancy, but it's definitely enough to like get your game going, especially if you make a low poly game. Then we have Jupiter, which is a sky shader with the night cycle, also pretty cool. And Texture Graph to make procedural textures in Unity, which again, this can be very handy if you want to make something custom. So next we got the Dark Fantasy Kit, which is a realistic 3D environment. Um, this is a bit if you want it. Some people don't need it, of course, because, well, not everyone is making uh, environments like this. But it looks quite cool, and depending on your game, this might be very useful. The second, I think it's pretty cool, is the Fantasy Ambient Sounds. So if you want to make a fantasy game or just anything that's need more ambience, this is totally it. And the last one in the one dollar bundle. Um, this again is only if you need it. If you make, if you need to make a village or something, this is really cool. It's basically modular the house to build all kinds of houses. And as it says here, you get over one hundred and seventy meshes to just combine and lock together, which can be very helpful. The next bundle is quite a sub of in price, but it's also definitely worth it. So this one is twenty euros and ninety eight cents. Probably somewhere like $25, $26, I'm not too sure. And this one already starts off with a banger. We got the UMMORPG, which is a tool to make a full MMORPG. Like in an asset, that's just insane. So with this tool you can, as seen here, you can just make a login screen and stuff. It's all in there. And you can make a basic RPG and just expand on it, which is really impressive for an, uh, for an asset. And this one itself is already 80 euros. Um, so that's already more than the price. And that's the case of most of these. Next is the fantasy sound bundle. So if you ever need any sounds, this also can be very helpful to not hire anyone or something. So as you can see right here, this has way over 3000 sounds, which is just an insane number. Next is the RPG Fantasy uh, GUI kit. Again, if you want to make UI stuff, this can come in quite handy. And you can also get all the um, Photoshop files so you can change anything you want, which is again, pretty cool. And if you want to make minor changes or like change the color of the background, you can do that very easily, which is pretty cool. Next, we got the mobile tools. And this one is especially useful for mobile developers because it does anything from ads, achievements, leaderboards, in a purchase, um, mobile cross promo, notifications, localization, and daily rewards. And all of this can be quite time consuming to just get in your game, um, but it can be very useful if you're making a mobile game, especially stuff like the notifications, um, ads in a purchase. It's not that hard, but it all takes time to get in. And this just makes it a lot easier. The next one is on I might actually use a lot. Um, this is a cloud system called InfiniCloud. And as you can see here, they're making kind of a tornado or something. And it just looks really cool. Like this is all warped up. And at the end, like you have a more realistic tornado-ish, I guess. Um, yeah, there are a lot more showcases. And yeah, this is definitely cool if you want to make a realistic game with beautiful clouds. The next is Furry S2. I'm still kind of confused by the name. Um, gives a bit mixed feelings. But this is not about furries. This is about RPG characters and weapons. And it looks really good. Like if you need any of these characters, you can just use them. 
and they will look amazing. And they also got all the animations for it, which also is very useful. Next off the stair, and the last one, we got the RPG Fantasy Pack. And this is characters, animations, and weapons. Again, it really depends on your project, but might come in handy. And now the last bundle, it isn't that much more in price. It's 21 euros and 37 cents, which is probably around like 27, 28 dollars. And the first three of this are really insane. First, we got Odin Inspector, and it is quite complicated what it is, and you might not think you, you need it, but it's quite useful. Um, this is basically to make tools in Unity. So you make tools to, well, iterate quicker, make faster prototypes, etc, etc. And also testing can be quite easier if you make a proper tool. Um, do note that this version is uh, for studios that earn less than 200,000 a year. So if you're over that, you need to still get the enterprise version and this does not apply for you. But either way, really a cool tool. And if you want to get into it, this is your chance. Next, we've got Bakery. Um, actually, lately I've been using both Odin and the Bakery. And um, Bakery is for a GPU light mapper to make light maps and stuff. It's set up a bit differently from the general Unity light mapper. Some prefer it, some might not. Uh, myself, I'm quite a fan of it. It's quite stable and it looks really good. Um, so if you want to make any games with beautiful shadows and want a different system, you can totally do this. And there are some games like Call of Duty Mobile use it and Taps and Dead and Buried 2. So this is definitely worth a shot if even those big studios use it. And the last really big um, asset right here is the RPG Builder. And well, it is all what it says. It is a builder for RPG games. Like with this, you get all of the stuff. You get combat, you get quests, you get inventories. All of it is in there. Again, really cool. Um, here we got two games, not really getting into those. If you want them, you can pick them up. They are the same price as the whole bundle, about, it, about the same price. Next, we got a Unity course from Zenva. Personally, not too interested, but if you're really new and want to learn a lot more skills, this definitely is your way to go. Of course, YouTube also has a ton of stuff, so just have fun. Next, we got a level de uh, designer, and this is really easy to make, um, yeah, well, new levels. It does have its own art style, of course, and it's used in the game The End of the Sun. And as you can see, it's just really easy to iterate. It has all kinds of prefabs. I think the numbers are down here. Um, oh, not no real numbers, but yeah, there are a lot of things here, which can just be mapped easily, as you can see right here. So that's quite cool. Again, like they got dungeons, they got villages, scenery, everything. Next, again, a really cool asset. I know I say this by a lot of things, but it really is. Um, this is Note Canvas, and this is used for AI. So this can be used for behavior trees, state machines, and dialogue trees. And it can be really, really useful if you need to do any of this. I have used this before, and it's really good. You can really notice um, that it's a lot easier to do it in visual scripting in Note Canvas than in actual code. Been there, done that. Note Canvas is quite a bit easier. Right here we got Deem Track Splines 2. And well, this is uh, Spline, so as you can see, you can add all kinds of curves to 3D geometry, 2D, like basically anything to make splines. This can be really, really useful if you need it. Next, we got the Nature Pack, and this one I was actually really impressed with that this looked that this good. The FPS in this video isn't the best, or it just has a lot of motion blur. I think a mix of both, uh, but the looks of this is just really good. It looks pretty realistic, and if you want to make a forest, this is definitely one of the ways to go. The next one I'm also a fan of, this is the Brute, for the brute Force Grass Shader. Again, it's nothing that special, but having Grass in Unity or just any game engine, it can really tank the performance, and this probably can get the performance up quite a bit while still looking pretty good. And it's also interactable, so yeah, if you want to make any environments just really grassy or just beautiful, well, this is probably your best pick, unless you want to make it yourself, of course. Next is the Editor Console Pro. Personally, not a huge fan of this, but again, it can really come in handy. Um, what it does, it can uh, improve with logs, with code, with coding, debugging, 
and just anything in uh, Unity to make your life just oh, just a little better. Next, I think this is the last one. Oh, not yet. We're not there. Here we got Mountain Tree, and again, this is for environments. It also looks really good. It has a river system and just a lot of trees, mountains, everything. And this also looks just really pretty. Right here we got the dark fantasy gigantic environment. As it says, it's an environment for dark fantasy games. And hey, what can I say? It looks quite good. I need to get a counter for this. So next we got another environment. Again, looks pretty good, but the art style is totally different. This is for more like uh, upbeat fantasy games. And it looks a bit more indie-like, I guess, just a bit low poly and colorful. I personally really like the style of this. Um, so yeah, it also has some animations in there. So if you need this, you can definitely use it for your projects. The next is for all the weapon fans. This is a really cool pack and all these have 4K textures, which is really cool. And the triangle counts as seen right here, 1000 to 4000 isn't that big. And oh boy, they look really good. I really would like to see these in action. Next we got a castle kit, and this is to make um, castles and like environments around them. So you can also build like um, small towns. Again, it looks really good if you need it, if you make something similar. It's definitely worth uh, picking it up. And again, like most of these assets are under the price of the whole bundle itself. So it's really cool. And right here we are with Humble Bundle. Uh, and right here we are with the MMORPG Maker. And yeah, we already got there. So that's this bundle. So this is the biggest bundle. And I think the value is definitely worth it to get the big, the biggest one. Especially if you look at the price difference, which isn't that much. And hey, if you need one of these, the $1 bundle also isn't too bad, actually. But if you want to see any of these, let me know in the comments below. I would love to make more videos on them. Especially stuff like Bakery, RPG Builder, Odin... Uh, note canvas i'm definitely going to make some videos on maybe the grass shader just let me know in the comments below the rpg maker also is really cool and then i can definitely make some videos so also if you want to buy the bundle it is down below in my description with a affiliate link so if you want to support me you can click the link and help me out and again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next videos